<laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're doing that. I know. It's finally happening. <laughs> I've obviously had the privilege of knowing Ellen since the day she was born. She was always this little woman on a mission who has passionately pursued whatever she loved and wanted. She loves her people so well, so fiercely, um, and will go to any length to make them feel loved. And she just always, no matter the personal cost or distance, shows up for the people that she loves. As an older sibling, you always thought that you were supposed to be the one that led by an example. But in many areas, that wasn't the case. In fact, Sam has taught me how to love. Specifically, Sam's ability to love people. It has nothing to do with what you bring to the table. It's just his enormous and intentional love for every individual in his life. I, I realized how blessed I was to have a younger brother that looked up to me, but in so many ways I looked up to him. Ellen, I'm standing here feeling so lucky and overwhelmed and just so blessed that I get to make a lifelong promise to you. I know my memory can be awful at times and that, that can be very frustrating. But I remember someone once told me, possibly out of frustration, that to truly love someone is knowing someone. I know that you love Jesus and I know that you love me and that you'll make an amazing wife. qualities in you and what a gift that starting today I get to be the recipient of those qualities for the rest of my life. So many people describe you as the glue that knits our friend group together and I cannot wait for you to now be the glue that knits our family together. I vow to love you unconditionally and always be by your side. I vow to encourage you in trying times and to comfort you in times of sorrow. My commitment to you is absolute on this day and for the rest of my days. So now the part that we've all been waiting for, before God and all these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yeah.